Hi all, today we will discuss about Deloitte US Hyderabad interview questions. So I got a call from this Deloitte and there the source is from Nokri. I got a call from this and in that time they ask uh, multiple interview process for FN. So this all those things we will discuss what are the process for this Deloitte interview question, uh, Deloitte company and uh, how you will get the call where I got the call. So mostly the call will come from uh, LinkedIn or Nokri and the head office uh, for the Deloitte uh, mostly uh, they call from the Hyderabad location and uh, the processes interview processes mostly will be the first round will be uh, online MCQ test that will be based on the big permit. So sometime will Java, Java 8 uh, with a Spring Boot microservices and all. And the second round will be have a technical round. Third will be technical round two. And then uh, they will check some uh, communications for this version round. And then managerial and then HR. So the first round online test. So that they send some of the link through the email. And we have to uh, swap that. So they all... The questions will be related for Java, Spring Boot, Microservice, Servlet, JSP depends on the requirement. In that time, for me, it was a Servlet, JSP and all. Uh, and uh, Spring Boot also was there. Uh, and they will give some 24 hours limited time in between we have to complete this test. Once you clear that test and after that, we'll have a second round. So the second round, they will ask uh, some uh, questions. So the interviewer will ask this type of questions for the Deloitte like uh, explain your project what type of your project uh, is there and how you are working what all are the roles responsibility for your project and then second uh, questions they ask like a business associate with your project what all are the uh, business associate with your project your responsibility in that what all are the module you work what is your responsibility for that and then they ask some of the uh, interview questions related for java spring boot microservice or bread life cycles jsp and all and design patterns also so the first question they ask what is overriding and loose coupling explain with the pen and papers so that part of the video uh, calling round interview so they ask some overriding and loose coupling through the papers explanation and the next question was what is a method signature what all are the things included in method signatures and after that uh, they ask some lot of questions uh, related for the exceptions like he asked uh, for the scenario base so how you will handle the exceptions what all are the exceptions you used how you created a custom exception can you write this and uh, these type of things and also they given some of the exceptions related uh, programming uh, logic questions and uh, they asked some of the output for that and after that they consider a spring framework so uh, related questions so what uh, id inversion of control is there what is dependency injection when to use inversion of control when to use dependency injections and all and then uh, they ask some uh, spring ioc uh, spring ioc so how you will write the configuration so what is the factory method and how you will create an object and these type of things they ask and after that they consider some of the sublet questions what is sublet like cycle what is the difference between sublet and gsp what is a spring bean life cycle uh, uh, from the spring? Uh, suppose if you worked on MBC or if you know the MBC patterns are flow. Uh, so they ask MBC flow. Can you explain the MBC flow and all? And where and why we used uh, AOP? So AOP is a part of a spring uh, AOP, aspect oriented programming. So why we are using and what is that AOP? And uh, they ask some uh, hibernate simple questions like uh, what is ORM, how we are using Hibernate, how we will connect with this, what all are the ORMs are there, when to use Hibernate, why we are using Hibernate instead of uh, sub, uh, JDBC and all. So these type of questions they ask, then after that uh, they ask the flyweight design patterns uh, uh, because I mentioned in the resume we worked on design patterns and all. So that's why. So a lot of questions they ask, uh, some of the basics questions and uh, some of the logical questions in that apart from this so whatever i remembered that i have mentioned in that now once you clear this first round and after that there will be some second round will happen so that second round uh, uh, they uh, 
depends on the interviewers either maybe uh, gents or ladies anyone can take so uh, for me uh, one was a ladies so she asked some questions related for this uh, project related depends on the interviewers uh, mind what type of questions she is uh, asking or maybe project related resume related technology related whatever you are mentioning resume in that time so for me they ask like uh, explain your project detail and then what is your project detail what is your responsibility the same repeated questions they ask and after that as we have a jersey spring integrations so she asked how we will achieve that so what is the use of Jer jersey spring integrations and all then we discuss a lot of things in restful like what is a restful what are the status code is there what is http methods are there when we to use uh, restful services and all so this type of questions put and patch difference and all they ask and then after that they ask some of the ajax errors how we will handle the ajax error how have you checked seen any errors ajax errors and then where we have to handle and where we are uh, have you seen where you seen this uh, ajax errors and, and then they ask some configurations can you explain how hibernate configurations will work what is a component how to connect this database in a spring boot project uh, with the help of uh, microservices patterns and then they ask some design patterns like uh, how we will create a singleton design and what all are the ways to create and then different permutations combination based of multi-threadings and all so multi-threadings many questions they ask like round robin algorithms uh, and then deadlock situations life cycles and all and once you clear the second round then there will be some uh, version trying will be there so that test will have uh, to check this English pronunciations and uh, understandings and all. So are you able to understand this uh, communications skills with the English or what all are the pronunciations you are doing just. Uh, but right now I think uh, they are not following these patterns but in that times they followed uh, the these patterns. So here uh, there are three to four sections are there in this first sections. Uh, uh, in this screen you will see some 10 lines of sentence with the uh, numbering from 1 to 10 and automated voice will ask you to read this sentence in the random fashion so these type of sections will be there first uh, they will given some of the num uh, sentence we need uh, so automatic voice will be asked to read this sentence in random fashion and the second will be automated voice will say the uh, sentence you need to repeat the same sentence around 10 to 15 sentences with this different ascent and then the section 3 was there this uh, uh, scenario based uh, sentence will be automated voice say and you need to answer based on the context so these all are the version test was there so once you clear, clear this test and after that uh, after that uh, they will ask some uh, in that some of the sections force like uh, the voice will ask you uh, some things you need to answer based on the reasons of questions you want uh, to watch a movie so you will watch alone in home or you will be in the theater with pattern so we uh, will be the with fat friends so explain uh, which which one you will prefer and why so that type of elimination round will be there so they will check your presence of mind like uh, either if you want to mo uh, watch a movie so either you will watch with in your home or in the theater with friends so which one will be preferred by you so why and then uh, this type of question that will be check your mind presence and then uh, after that uh, there will be some uh, that also will be elimination round uh, to eliminate and after that there will be some last round uh, second last round will be there that is managerial round so in managerial round just the managers and all will come and then they will ask some of the questions related for the project responsibility code qualities and all so depends on the uh, managers or uh, the senior team so who will take any type of questions from any uh, where either technicals or non-technicals question explain the project explain the role of and responsibility of your uh, project so what type of work you are doing in that uh, how you are ensuring
so how we are answering this uh, questions and all code qualities and all and after that we'll have a hr discussion so hr discussions will have a, a telephonic uh, explain the salary breakup down designations hierarchy ask when you are able to join that and uh, so will be released the offer with that date but these things happen not uh, latest that was a old one so i rejected in that round uh, due to some reason and all yeah thank you if you want you can take this re reference for the deloitte interview questions or any type of interview questions for the freshers or an experience just you take as a reference and uh, let me know if any other interview questions you want please comment the same thank you